The thought of solar panels may seem like a good idea, but during the tough economic times, who has tens of thousands of dollars to invest? There's a new program that allows you to get the savings associated with solar panels for little or no money down. Some families in the valley are seeing their power bills drop. Lots of people feel this way. The pg and &E is getting so expensive. My first summer here, I was shocked. We moved into a bigger home, and the bills were outrageous. Power is not cheap, and people have one thing on their mind. Saving money. Rick Allison lives in Selma, where he is on a time-of-use plan with PG&E. We couldn't use power. It was astronomically expensive. But today, Rick feels a lot different. Cost savings. Lots of cost savings. It's been hundreds of dollars of savings each month. Almost one year ago, Rick decided to get solar panels. Only he didn't spend tens of thousands of dollars. Instead, he is participating in a power purchasing agreement. Another company owns the panels on his property, and he pays them a lower rate for the power. It's easy. Russ Smithson works for Varengo Solar Plus. In an economy that's down like this, people don't really have a lot of cash flow. So the fact that most people, if they qualify for this, it costs nothing. Um, it immediately changes a five-tier structure to a three-tier structure. Smithson is referring to pg and &E's system where customers pay more per unit of energy as their energy use increases. In a power purchasing agreement, you continue to pay pg and &E for the first two tiers that cost less than 20 cents per kilowatt hour. Your solar panels make up the rest. You pay the solar panel company a set rate, which is typically in the mid-20s, much less than the more than 30 cents per per kilowatt hour, those in the top three tiers pay PG&E. This is basically a business model that allows us to compete in a situation where otherwise PG&E has a regional monopoly. PG&E says there are about 63,000 customers that have rooftop solar and more sign up every year. You may think PG&E is against solar. The power company says that's not the case. We don't sell solar. Uh, we're not profiting from you putting it on your house, but we de we still advocate for customers to do it. I have solar on my home. There's a lot of PG employees who have solar on their home, and I have it for the same reason as everyone else. It helps me manage my energy costs. <laughs> Mike and Emily Salway are raising five young children, and saving money by managing their energy costs is exactly what had them looking at solar years ago. But the upfront cost kept them from taking the leap. After looking at the, the PPA program, it, uh, you know, to have zero costs out of pocket, have them maintain everything, have zero maintenance costs, and yet our bill comes down instantly right away, but more importantly, it drops for the next 20 plus years. That, that's what kind of finally sold us on it. The Salways just got their new solar panels and expect to save money quickly. Saving maybe $100 a month will help. And where do you hope to be able to use that $100 a month that you're going to save? Um, <laughs> putting it in the bank to save. <laughs> <laughs> so it's perfect. Cliff and Desri Van Putten knew the moment they moved to Fresno many years ago, they wanted to go solar. There's plenty of sun, not much water. <laughs> but lots of sun. What they like about the power purchase agreement, worry-free maintenance. We're not liable for any damage right. or even the production. Right. Uh, if the production drops or if, or if the units are vandalized or even stolen, it's up to the uh, owner to repair it. With all the positives, is there a downside? For me, the thing that made me hesitate was making sure that I understood um, what the risks would be and how difficult it would be to sell the home. Desri is a real estate agent, and so with a little research, it was easy to find the answer. She says a buyer needs to let their mortgage broker know about the power purchase agreement. Because that will have to be factored into your debt ratio and added into your, what you're actually going to borrow. But that's not something the Van Puttens are concerned about. They say they're happy with their decision to go solar because they are both saving money and helping the environment. A very yeah what a great idea I learned so much yeah. uh, putting that's you know part of what's so yeah. fun with what we do we learn so much about so many different things and it was really interesting to really understand how much money goes into you know the solar panels right. PG&E how it averages and out the different tiers and, and the different tiers it's it's really important for anybody really to under really understand where their money is going and yeah. how to manage their energy costs sounds like a win-win to me absolutely well for more information on power purchasing agreements and solar panels just head to our website cbs47.tv